one early morning at Twilight's castle. There was a, a knock on the door, and when Twilight opened it, it was Derpy delivering the morning mail, a morning among the morning newspaper and some letters. And she noticed it was actually one letter that was for Spike. She didn't know if Spike was expecting any particular mail. When she got into the in kitchen where Spike was eating his breakfast, he asked if it was the mail. She nodded and said, yeah, I assume that the usual. Yeah, that's pretty much the usual morning paper, some letters. Oh, by the way, you have also a letter in the mail. Wait, seriously? Yeah, it's from Trottingham. Trottingham. Oh, right, this is from my pen pal, says Spike with a smile. Wait, since when did you get a pen pal? Oh, um, about two months ago? Oh, yeah, I was actually saw this in ad in a, a newspaper um, two months ago. It was this um, someone actually looking for a pen pal anywhere in Equestria, so I decided to just see if this pony was interested to be a pen pal with a dragon, and sure enough, wow, that was quite an interesting story, Spike. Um, who is she, this, this um, pony now? Oh, um, her name is actually Sour Sweet. Sour Sweet, yeah. She is actually an earth pony, and um, we actually had a good friendship. I mean, she seems to be very interested in a lot of things, actually. Oh, so do you know what she's doing for her type of work? Actually, yeah. She told me that she works at the local pet shop. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, have you ever thought of, you know, meet her in personally? Um, actually, yeah. I mean, we had talked about it, but, you know, me even having a lot of my duties helping you and helping at the school, it has been a lot of, you know, almost no break. You know, Spike, now this is the summer break from the school, and I don't really have much, any upcoming royal meetings or anything. You could probably go to see her in Trottingham. Wait, are you for sure serious about it? Yeah, I mean, if you're serious about to meet your pen pal, well, do you think you can come along just for the first time? Yeah, I can do that, Spike. When did you have in mind to go? Um, maybe tomorrow? Alright, um, you should probably read the letter she, showed, she wrote to you this time. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, well, this is a surprise. What is it? Well, speaking of visit, it turned out she's actually coming to Ponyville in, in tomorrow. What? Are you, are you for real, Spike? Yeah. Take a look yourself. And she actually read the note, the letter. Sure enough. She said wrote that in, that in the letter she will arrive around noon the next day. So Spike decided to go to the detainer train station and wait for her. And when he did the next day, he actually saw this, this mare in description how she looks like. She walked up to Spike and she asked if he was Spike, the dragon. Well, how many dragons do live in a quest in Ponyville or in a quest? Yeah, he asked. Well, unless you do, unless you talk to those dragons who lives in Philadelphia, she smiled. Good point. Well, yeah, but yes, I'm Spike the Dragon, or just Spike, for short. Well, my name is Sour Sweet, and it is nice to meet you, though, finally. Yeah, um, if you want to go, you can go to the castle you will be staying. That would be great, she said. So, they went to the castle where she met Twilight. And they had a great time, get to know each other. Spike did show her around in Ponyville to some of the 
some of the landmarks that there is and just an introducer to some of his friends and they're just having a great time. She told us back that she will only been staying for about a week since that was only time that she been able to get time off. And during this time, they actually got a lot more closer than by even by letters. Because Spike told her that she was just one of the few that he actually thought of to even be a pen pal. And that she's also his very first pen pal ever. She smiled and said that was actually surprising when she got a letter from, from Ponyville after she remembered that this ad apparently, apparently it was not only published in a local newspaper but had been disputed all other country on whole kingdom but she was actually happy about it he then he asked if how many had written to her by this ad only one just one yep so no pony else wasn't doing it I mean, writing your letters to you? Not at all. Only you. Wow, I mean, I feel honored. But a little bit sad, though, to be honest. Yeah, but I wasn't very much giving much high hopes on that, to be honest, said Sour Sweet. Their, their bonding over this week actually went better than expected. They had a lot of good time to get to know each other even better personally rather than write letters. But as the week came and went, she said was, she was sad to leave, but she actually invited Spy to come over to see her sometime. And he said that he probably would do that soon enough. And about two weeks later, he actually went there to Trollingham. But originally it was about to be Twilight to accompany him. But he chose to go alone. She decided to have him sing at her apartment, since Spike would probably would have afforded to stay at this hotel. And she actually had a lot of good times with him as well. She showed him a, a lot of the Trollinghams, landmarks, historical sites, all kinds of things that he was probably interested in. But during his visit to Trollingham, something did happen. Spike had fallen in love with Sour Sweet. Because during the time before she even, even before she came to Ponyville, Spike had told Rarity about his feelings and she told him that she didn't like him the same way back. But he wasn't actually very much heartbroken. He somehow had deep down in his mind and his heart that it would have been expected. But at least he had moved on and now was having potentially crush on someone else. But he never told her that because they had even known each other for even just barely more than two months. And he did want to jeopardize her his new friendship. So he decided to keep it for himself. And after that week came and went, they just maintained their communication by letters from frequently but it happened that they didn't talk to each other by letters for maybe for almost two weeks it could have been that it depend on different reasons like if spike being very occupied and or if he wasn't even in town or if she would have been occupied with a lot of her work or something so but one day around nightmare night Spike actually had invited Sour Sweet to come over to celebrate the annual Ponyville's Nightmare Night Festival. She exactly accepted the invitation. And she was dressed as a witch and he was dressed as a goblin. They actually had a good time. And they just enjoyed it. There's all the games. And, but during this festival, he had actually got a lot more stronger feelings for her. And now by at this point, they hadn't known each other for at least a few months. But he didn't still believe that he, if this was a good time to telling her. But he chose to do it anyways. Shortly after the festival was over, he actually walked up to her and confessed about his feelings. 
She didn't look surprised at all. And in fact, she smiled and said, I kind of had something to tell you too. It turned out, she was also have a crush on Spike for a while, considering how kind he had been. She had also revealed that her late boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend that she was together with, he, um, very much, he wasn't really much kind to her. He was only using her for, well, emotionally abuse or something like that. Or because it turned out he wasn't really that kind towards her at all. He called her the bad names and treated her not so kindly. So she broke it off and, well, she hadn't even seen him since. But when she met Spike, he has been the complete opposite. He was kind, generous, but funny, treated her with respect. It was the complete opposite to her late boyfriend. And in fact, even then, just after the festival was over, she asked Spike if he would consider to want to be her boyfriend. That was one thing he didn't expect to put turn to happen. He was expected maybe to ask her out on her first date, but she asking him to be her boyfriend right away? He was stunned, but he said that she understand if he wasn't what was an interest, but he said, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I would like to be your boyfriend, he said. She smiled and then gave him a kiss, and they actually went back to the castle, where they had a good time just reading some daring do mystery books and just enjoying some candy that they had. But it, it was just that incredible time. Spike could have not been happier to be with the pony that he loved the most of. After all, the, even the very next day, they even told Twilight and she was stunned. She didn't even expect they would even be dating so shortly. But she was just happy for Twilight and she was happy for Spike. After all, he has always been so kind and generous to any pony. Even shortly after all this, all of his friends found out and he was just happy for this support. And after they just been together for about almost a year, Sour Sweet actually decided she wanted to move from Trottingham to Ponyville. She'd actually get tired of living in a big city life anyways. And she actually had found out that the small pet shop in Ponyville was actually looking for new ponies to hire. And when she was in town only before she moved, she had actually been there, applied for the work, and she actually mentioned she was working at another pet stop, the pet shop in Trottingham and had a lot of experience. And after that, the owner in Ponyville's pet shop actually went through her resume, she was hired. After she moved, she started working and she was just having a good time. The one of the first things that she was going to save up was to, to buy a small house for herself. But meantime, she was staying at the castle for free of charge because Twilight didn't mind that. And the relationship between Spike and Sunny F S Sour Sweet, it was only getting stronger and stronger for each single day. But then it almost went a tragedy. During the first winter of her living in Ponyville, she was getting sick from a cold, what he first assumed, but it wasn't. She was having a rare, she has a very difficult case of the pony, pony flu. But this was a lot worse. So worse, so bad, she had had been admitted to the hospital. Only a few other opponents had the same condition. Likely the word treatment, but the treatment was in fact in Manhattan. There were some issue with the train, so they had to be away for maybe as a day of delivery. So during the time, Spike would staying at the camp at the hospital 
by Sour Sweet's side almost 24 at all the time as long as he was available to it. He sat by her side, read some stories during the she smiled and said that he didn't have been staying there all the time, but he didn't mind to keep her company. She smiled even though she was so weak. She was almost entire time all the time was so tired that she could barely keep herself awake. But luckily for it in time The cure came just only a day later. But she had to stay in the hospital for the rest of the week just in case because she was just so so weak. But by the end of the week she had made a full recovery and she was allowed to go back home. And the fact she had just made a full recovery just in time for the heartwarming eve holiday. She was even given a scarf from Spike. And she gave him a scarf as well. It just it showed them both how much they really cared about each other. And Spike couldn't have been happier about it. After being together for 10 years, Spike wanted to take the next step in their relationship. So he took her for a weekend cruise. And he did propose to her on the very last on the very last day during sunset. And she cried of happiness. She didn't even expect Spike was doing it, but she was just happy about it. When they came back home, they actually revealed this, the news to every pony. And the fact the only pony that was aware of this was Twilight. But she pretended that she never knew about it. But eventually, she revealed that she did knew about it, but. She didn't tell any opponent about it otherwise. They decided to have the wedding in Candlelot. They invited all of her Sour Sweet's old friends and family from back home. And she had asked Twilight to be her bridesmaid or maid of honor and Macintosh to be Spike's best man. They just had a great time at the wedding. And even at the wedding re reception, every little ponies could actually see how happy Spike and Sour Sweet were. Especially during the first time when they shared the first dance together. With the music playing around them, it was like they were the only ones there. Like the whole world was still except for the music was hearing distant. All the families and friends could see how how happy they were together. They truly meant so much to each other. I included them when it was time for them to go on their honeymoon. Twilight had a big surprise. She actually had arranged so that they could go to a tropical island for two whole weeks. They had a great time at the fest on the on the tropical island. Like doing a lot of sightseeing, swimming in the ocean, playing beach ball, just having a great time. And even observing a fireworks show on the very last day. And it's just, it was just an incredible time from both. And especially to have entered a new chapter in their lives. Three years later, Spike and Sour Sweet later found out they were expecting twins, two daughters of their own. They were really surprised because, but it wasn't been a really big surprise within for Sour Sweet. She later revealed that twins is a common thing within in her family. So, but at least they were happy to have twin daughters. And just three years later, they actually even had a son. S Spike and Sour Sweet could have been happier to have three children together. And if Spike had even ran into Sour Sweet by sending all that answer for the ad of her to be a pen pal, he would have missed out his true happiness. And he could have been a uh, could have been happier that he actually did it. 
And even Sour Sweet could have been happier that Spike was the mo there was the pony wrote her letter. And from what just an a friendly a very start of a friendship would eventually leading to a romance to a, um, almost a pure happiness. And this is how Sour Sweet and Spike for a true love got a big family together. The end.